cargo area with plenty of space and a larger battery that offers realistic driving range for a reasonable price. This is the pure gray 2024 Volkswagen ID4S and we have it here for the first time at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida. Let's see what this thing is all about. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video where it's finally here. We have a 2024 Volkswagen ID4S, the first 2024 model year for the channel. So we have to break this down, what's new, what's changed, what's the same, everything about this spec because with pure gray and the Galaxy interior, I think you guys are going to like the way that this flows from the outside in. I'll explain more later. But with that said, we're here at Volkswagen Brandon. We got to check out this model. Let's just get right to it. Now, per usual, big shout out to Volkswagen Brandon here in Florida for letting me take a peek around the new ID4S for the 2024 model year. If you guys want to get this model or any other model they have here, check the links in the description. Make sure you guys give their phone number a call. See what else they have here for you guys at Volkswagen Brandon to get into your driveway today. Now, what's new when it comes to the 2024 ID4? Since we have our first 2024 here, figured I'd let you in on a couple of things, like the performance and range increasing. So we get a larger 77 kilowatt battery pack, and that model will come with an electric motor that's upgraded. It pumps out 282 horsepower in rear wheel drive models, but up to 330 horsepower in all wheel drive models. Now, these models also see their EPA range rise, to 263 and 291 miles. Other changes to the ID4 will include a new 12.9 inch infotainment display, backlink controls for volume and climate control, and some new wheel designs. Now, when we mention dimensions for the ID4S, well, we're looking at a total wheelbase of 108.8 or 108.9 inches, depending on the variant, with 180.5 inches in length, 72.9 inches in width, and between 64.5 and 65.2 inches in height with a curve weight between 4,350 pounds and 4,950 pounds. Now, while there's no frunk, there is a powertrain that we need to talk about for the 2024 lineup when it comes to the ID4. So we get models with both front and rear motors, induction ACs with 107 horses and 119 pound feet in the front in the rear where you get a permanent magnet synchronous AC at 201 or 282 or 335 horsepower depending, depending on the variant. Now the battery pack, liquid coolant, lithium ion, 58 kilowatts, or you get a 77 kilowatt battery pack. And you get an onboard charger of 11 kilowatts with peak DC fast charge rate between 140 or 175 kilowatts. Now your transmission is front and rear direct drive. And that's going to give you a zero to 60 in between 4.9 or 7.3 seconds depending on the variant a quarter mile between 13.6 or 15.7 depending on the variant and a top speed depending on the variant of 100 and 100 miles per hour or 115 miles per hour now what we're looking at here today is pure gray this looks beautiful in this selection i mean it definitely shines in the Florida sun, even being a gloss and not a metallic flake. You definitely will see this standing out above the crowd with the LED fixtures, the gloss black, and everything when it comes to the white and black between the logo and the whole spec up front. So you guys will see what I'm talking about when it comes to the VW logo right up front and center with gloss black and the light bar that you will see illuminated right here in the middle that will actually flow into the LED lights here as you guys will see with the head unit there with that really cool spec when it comes to the design. I really love the way that this all looks. Again, we'll see this all illuminated shortly. Now with that, you will see that, well, very aerodynamic with this being an EV, so you don't need much when it comes to the grill selection. But down here, you actually have a functional grill right here for cooling. So you guys will see that actually feeds right through. Now with that, you do have the fox side right here. And then you also have for aerodynamics, these side blades done in gloss black right here. So you got some styling to them, but you can also see right there, they feed straight through again for that airflow, just for the aerodynamics. The way that they set this all up is for a reason why we have it looking like this, but at the same time, it actually is a pretty good look. So I'm not mad at the front fascia of the ID4S for the 2024 model year. Now, when it comes to the side profile, what's the first thing that stands out to you? It's probably gonna be these 
bi-color finish aerodynamic wheels which are 20 inches wrapped in Pirelli Scorpion Zero tires. Yeah, this is a good setup when it comes to the wheel. Now with that said, you see that there also with the plastic cladding on the wheel wells here and on the front and side skirts as well to help with rock chips and scraping and keeping this thing when it comes to the pure gray paint very pristine so that's all good protection when it comes to the lower part of the car when you come to the front up here you will see the new setup when it comes to the overall badging from the front to the door right here on the front fender to the door and then you will see that the id4 s badge is right up there as well with the s being in blue you also see pure gray on the mirror cap flush door handles with the e-latch pure gray and then you guys will also see the b-pillars done in a gloss black with the gloss black not gloss black but the the glass roof right there because we have a panoramic roof the gloss black shark fin antenna and then the black plastic when it comes to some of the cladding on the sides and for the roof rails there as well so then you put it all together and that's the whole look we're getting for the side profile of the ID4S. Now let's talk about the rear profile because check out those lights. I really love the lights against the pure gray and the stylistic elements inside of them. You guys will see that light bar has a bunch of diamonds inside of there. And I'm not even sure if you guys will be able to catch it with the naked eye via video, but check that out. These look a lot cooler like in a smoked look, I feel like, or at least this gray paint is definitely giving me a uh, 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 smoke feel when it comes to these lights. I don't know. It looks really cool with the black housing around it. Now, you also have the spoiler with the side blades done in gloss black. The W logo, VW logo right there in black and white with the ID4 in white as well. And then you have the big plastic piece right here. Again, helping with protection when it comes to the back bumper and the uh, rear fascia here as well with the actual pure gray paint and bodywork doing this little thing when it kind of gives that stylistic design element in the rear curving in with the reflector inside of that. We will see that light bar and everything illuminated shortly, but with all that put together, what do you guys think about the rear of the ID4? Now let's talk about charging, but before we get into that and the battery, make sure you guys check out my full video on how to charge your ID4. You won't have any range anxiety knowing exactly how to charge it, how to check your levels and everything when it comes to home charging and fast charging there. Now, we talked about charging here. We talked about it having an 11 kilowatt charger on board. Now you guys can use that home charger from 110 or 240 volt connections on that. And the home charger for level one with that 11 kilowatts is probably gonna take you from 10 to 80% charging time or between seven and nine hours on that model. Now, if you do fast charging, well, that's going to be around 30 to 36 minutes from 10 to 80%. So keep that in mind. Now, for this model, you will have the 62 kilowatt battery on this specific one that we're looking at here. Now, this is your charging door, and we have something here called MPGE, which is basically like your miles per gallon, but in electric terms. So with that said, your MPGE is the same when it comes to combined city and highway, the way that you say it. So your combined city and highway or combined MPGE between the city and highway is going to start around, I believe it's 102 to 113 MPGE. Your city is going to be between 108 and 122 MPGE. And your highway is going to be between 96 and 104 MPGE. And your range, well, that's gonna be between 206 miles and 291 miles you guys will see that we do also have the fast charging port here as well for that fast charging but again watch that full video on how to do that how to navigate the fast charging port and everything you need to know about charging and battery for your id4 now when it comes to cargo well in the rear you get about 30 cubic feet in the front you get about 64 cubic feet of space you can see that we have a 40 60 split when it comes to our seats but we also have a center feet through right there as well big privacy shade right here to making sure that all of your belongings are stowed away safely and as you guys can see we got a couple things back here i'm going to push this up because that is our charger there which our 11 kilowatt that's on board we have our couple of things here i don't actually know what those uh oh cargo blocks <laughs> our front plate kit here as well and then my backpack and then you have some storage on the side here as you guys will see and then a little storage pocket on the side here and then if we were to lift up the false floor 
Got a little shelf here, nothing too crazy, but you can put a couple things like your charger back here as well. But you can see kind of how deep it is when it comes to the overall storage. So some things can go back here if need be. But then you also have another storage space, all right? So you got two false floors. And that one, I would say you could put your charger in, but for something like your charger, which you're gonna use on, uh, you know, week to the week basis, you probably wanna put it underneath all of this. I would say it's probably best right here, if not in the back of the trunk right there. So maybe tools or something like that that you wanna use as often for his aid kit will go on that second false floor. But other than that, great space when it comes to the rear of the ID4S. Now, while the sun has disappeared for a moment, let's check out the LED lights, the illumination of the VW ID4, looking beautiful with the LED bar right here, the illumination in the front. And obviously you guys can see the switchback LEDs leading right into it with the big LED headlamp as well. And then the turn signal done here and the amber mirror cap there. And then my favorite part, the LED light bar in the rear looking so cool fully illuminated check that out with the illuminated logo right there in the center that's a cool look when it comes to lighting up the id4 now let's check out the key fob for the id4 as you guys can see this is the premium key fob that you'll get on volkswagen models so completely done in gloss black with the chrome surround and chrome vw logo right there in the center and we do have the panic button which is why he's running lock trunk release and unlock as well with the physical key right down here just in case your key fob battery dies now we're inside and as you guys can see we've got a couple of screens we'll get to those in a minute 5.9 i think 5.1 or 5.9 inch uh instrument cluster there and then you have a 12 inch screen standard which we have here today but you can get uh, your infotainment screen in 12.9 inches for 2024. Now, check out this interior. The leather at Galaxy interior looks good with the door paneling, the door cards, and everything here, as you guys will see, done in aluminum around the uh, door handle there, soft molded injection plastic, our leather at with the Galaxy interior and the white stitching as well, and the door cards, floating armrests and gloss black with our window controls and mirror controls there as well, speaker here, and we have our trunk release there. Then, come inside, you guys will see the steering wheel here, flat bottom, as you guys can see, the compactive buttons on each side of the steering wheel and the Chrome VW logo there. We'll get to all of this in just a moment. We have our lighting controls on this side here, as you guys will see, and then we also have a nice feel and stitching to our dash. It's not just complete plastic, but soft touches and actual stitching. So I do like that element with the Galaxy Gray for the insert going throughout the center of the car. And then you guys will see the perforated leather and honeycomb look for the seating done in black with the ID engraved stitching there as well. Not stitching, I wanna say engraved um, perforation, so I say there as well with white stitching around as well. And you look up, big panel roof. Great place to be, right? Floating center console here. All right, done in gloss black with that aluminum trim going through as well. Key fob holder. Yes. That's why I'm using it as, but they actually cup holders as you guys can see. We have our wireless phone charger here, which I'm currently using. USB-C plug is there as well. And then right here in the center of the armrest with that Galaxy Gray feel and the stitching. You guys will have a deep armrest down there. I mean, deep, deep armrest. Because keep in mind, we don't have any transmission, you know, it's an electric car. So we can utilize this space for the central tunnel a little bit more. Now, when it comes to this setup here, this is our main form of, you know, basically our information when it comes to our instrument panel here. Put my foot on the brake and I'm ready to go, right? But I have to twist this to go into drive, go up, twist this to the back, go to reverse, hook it up, neutral, and P for part. That's how I get ready to go. If I take my foot off the brake, it thinks I'm ready to leave, so it says goodbye, and it gives me the basic information right up here on my screen. But this is really, when I press, put on the foot on the brake and I come to live, this is really what you're gonna use to navigate your way through this vehicle when driving. Now, you do have view, and you can change a couple of things when it comes to the screen, depending on where you wanna go, what you wanna do, and the information you wanna use here. You can do all that here. You also have radio controls for volume right here as well. And then on this side, you guys will see mode. This is all your driver assistance and everything there. We do have our lighting controls on this side. 
and our washer nozzles and everything on that side. Telescopic steering wheel here as well, so I can pull that down. And I can move this. Now keep in mind, this whole screen moves with it, all right? So wherever you move the steering wheel, it comes with it. So that's a good thing. You won't ever put it in the way. The steering wheel won't be, ever be in the way. System up front here, you guys know this very well, but we'll start at the bottom because this is menu when it comes to parking. All right, this is your climate controls right here. And then you also, well, to let you know, you got the heated, uh, steering, heating steering wheel and heated seats as well. And then hazard buttons, parking assist here. And then you also have mode for drive mode, eco, comfort, sport, and custom. Now, keep in mind that you also have controls for your HVAC here. So you can use this to tap on your HVAC. You can use this to tap on your radio controls. And then you can also turn off the screen. And then we want to get out of here. We can actually go to our different menus. You can see we're in the car part there, but we can actually go to our menus to see different things about the vehicle and use this very, very responsive, very intuitive system. You guys see we got things over here, like our heated seats. And then we obviously can change things up depending on how we want to go about our information and how we want to display it here between our settings and everything that we have on the screen. So again, it's completely different from a lot of cars in this segment which I love it, especially when it comes to the electrification and showing this off different ways you can charge. You can charge up to 80%, which is recommended, or you can go all the way up to 100. Just by dragging that, you guys can see we have 123 miles, 66%. You guys can cha change your locations, your settings, everything you want to do with this. Again, they make it so easy for you to use this system. Very intuitive, very, very simple. Look up top, we got our SOS button. We got our dome light our sunshade for our big sunroof, panoramic roof, all that, floodlight, visor, mirror, lighting. I mean, again, it's very ID4. Everything you guys would expect in the 2024 model year is here in this ID4. Now let's check out the rear as we have that same Galaxy interior as up front, completely matching the pure gray. It's almost a match made in heaven when it comes to the seating arrangement and this paint. So you guys will see, that backrest shows a lot of the spec here when it comes to the seat so you guys will see the galaxy gray and black mixed in with the pouch here for extra storage done in the uh, galaxy gray as well and then you guys will see the perforated leather done in black with the galaxy interior leather wrap as well looks really good i mean this is this is a nice spec i really love this so you step inside you see the door panel will give you that same flavor. So you will see the soft touches for the molded injection plastic. And then you guys will see the gray finish or aluminum kind of like finish around the door handle as well with the door cards having that galaxy leather wrap. And I like that this flows and the one seamless piece is not broken off. So it actually goes like this and weighs down. It's really cool. With the stitching there as well, the floating armrest done in gloss black as well. Close that up. Come inside of here and you guys will see that we do have this big armrest right here with some cup holders as well. And right here in our center, we do get extra stowage. We want to set our phones there and plug them in via USB-C. And then we have gloss black for our HVAC vents around here as well. Again, pretty cool place to be. What's always cool is this little hidden, kind of, I don't want to say hidden, but another place you will look for an extra pouch on both sides as well just for a little extra storage there. That be might, might be cool to mount like something here for you to watch or like, you know, you can put something here to actually, you know, make it functional so you don't have to use your hands to hold something here, um, which would be really nice. But again, great place to be. You look up, big panoramic roof, letting in a lot of natural light. I mean, what else can you say about the rear of the ID4? Now let's break down the sticker on the 2024 ID4S. And what we're talking about here when it comes to pricing because we start life at $44,855 but after our $1425 destination and additional options we're looking at $47,011 now that's not much when it comes to change so really what changed here was just a few things well the pure gray exterior and galaxy interior with leatherette that's all standard everything you saw for the exterior and interior no charge so what is it down to? Well, we have the two in one, 240 volt and 120 volt EV charging cable. So we got two in one here with that adapter, giving us $350 for that. And then the all weather match, $296 with Volkswagen prepaid schedule maintenance, $85. And it normally in most VW cars is higher, but since this is an EV, 
not too much maintenance there so 85 dollars that makes sense now with that said everything else here no charge i mean your volkswagen uh car net uh, car net and safe and secure five-year plan no charge and your 60 kilowatt battery 62 kilowatt no charge everything else you see here comes standard performance exterior interior safety and driver assistance technology and convenience and your VW car net safe and secure plan and you also have your warranty information which i'll read off to you guys four years fifty thousand miles whichever comes first that's for your regular you know new vehicle warranty you have a high voltage warranty four years fifty thousand miles as well for the whole high voltage battery and you have also a eight year one hundred thousand mile for the limited uh high voltage battery as well with preparation being seven years one hundred thousand miles now if you guys want to see all this in detail make sure you guys check the link in the description everything here about this 2024 id4 just in case you can't see it here you don't want me reading up off every single thing to you guys i definitely want you guys to see everything you need to know about this model so at that forty-seven thousand dollar price tag what do you guys think about the id4 for the 2024 model year in this id4 s trim level drop those comments down below are you guys impressed and if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you give it a big thumbs up but make sure you guys also check the links in the description just in case you guys want to check out the website check out more information on this car or any other car they have here and the phone number for Volkswagen Brandon give them a call see what they have here for you guys now make sure you guys also click the notification bell so you don't miss one video and with that said we will see you guys in the next one peace